Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the cyclone Tote. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. So let's begin but before we begin I would like to inform you about a webinar that is going to be conducted on the 27th of May of which registration link is given in the description box if you want to know about how to start preparation for the civil services examination this is going to be an extremely helpful webinar conducted by none other than Dr Vikas Devakirti sir so if you want to register for it as it is free of cost kindly look into the description box moving on if we talk about the cyclone tote it is classified as a very severe cyclonic storm and it is going to hit gujarat tomorrow that is on tuesday it developed over the arabian sea moving on if we talk about the trajectory this is the latest track as you can see it originated in the arabian sea affected the states of kerala karnataka goa maharashtra and now it is moving towards gujarat moving on it is actually classified as very severe cyclonic storm this is the different categorization of storms given in different categories which is dependent on the speed so you can learn about the speed as well it could be asked in your prelims exam if we talk about the cyclone tote this is actually pronounced as tau and te this name has been given by myanmar keep this in mind and it is the fourth of the 169 names which were listed by imd indian meteorological department and tote actually means its name is on the name of a gecko that is a vocal lizard in the burmese language so tote is the fourth cyclone in consecutive years to have developed in the arabian sea that too in pre monsoon period that is from april to june all these cyclones since the year 2018 have been categorized either severe cyclone or above tote has been intensifying very rapidly it took only 2 days to reach such intensity from a depression formed in the south east arabian sea on may 14th morning it strengthened into a very severe cyclonic storm by the early hours of may 16th and also the first cyclone to form in 2020 and 2021 were in the arabian sea during the pre monsoon period both in the very severe cyclonic category moving on if we talk about tri- tropical cyclones these are different from temperate cyclones because tropical cyclones are very violent in nature and originate over oceans in tropical areas move over to the coastal areas we have a huge coastal line coastline is very big for india so that is why india is all the time receiving such tropical storms such tropical cyclones moreover to the moving over to the coastal areas bringing about large scale destruction caused by violent winds very heavy rainfall and storm surges now it if we talk about the destruction it causes and mortality it causes it stands second to flood it causes 28% of the mortality and destruction tropical cyclones originate and intensify over warm tropical ocean and the conditions favorable for such storms to develop such cyclones to develop are large sea surface with temperature higher than 27 degrees celsius presence of strong coriolis force small variations in vertical wind speed and a pre-existing weak or low pressure area or low level cyclonic circulation and upper divergence above the sea level system so as you can see through the help of this diagram you can see warm water warm water evaporates from the ocean surface and then comes into contact with mass of cold air so as you can see there is a temperature difference first second then a column of low pressure develops at the center here because it's warm in nature the pressure will be low and winds from around the winds because of that around the column develop as pressure in the central column or the eye it weakens the speed of the wind around it increases so as you can see through the help of this vertical section of tropical cyclone there is a subsiding subsidence of warm air and outflow of cold air so basically pressure difference is there and if we talk about tropical cyclones they move in the anti clockwise in the northern hemisphere anti clockwise direction and clockwise in the 
southern hemisphere moving on c if you compare the region of bay of bengal with arabian sea this is a conventional cyclone hotbed since many years but through these years it was seen that because of the rise in temperature in the arabian sea many cyclones are occurring and this is now the cyclone storm bed according to climate scientists if we talk about it climate scientists at the indian institute of tropical meteorology have warned that the arabian sea is fast becoming a cyclone hotbed and the sea surface temperature in arabian sea have increased rapidly during the past century due to climate crisis and now the temperatures are often above the warm pool threshold if we talk about the bay of bengal region the threshold the benchmark of 27 degrees celsius is always breached that is why lots of cyclone developed here used to develop here but now arabian sea is also matching the same benchmark moving on according to iitm widespread extreme rainfall events have also increased three folds and that is because of arabian sea's warming and the government confirmed that studies show an increasing trend of cyclonic storms over the arabian sea based on data between 1965 and 2020 so if we talk about how are cyclones named as i told you that the cyclone has been named by myanmar and the world meteorological organization united nations economic and social commission for asia and pacific panel on tropical cyclones agreed in principle to assign names to tropical cyclones in the bay of bengal and arabian sea region during the 27th session held in muscat sultanate of oman in the year 2000 the naming of the tropical cyclones over the north indian ocean commenced from september 2004 with the names provided by eight members starting with bangladesh india and then five other countries have joined the panel you have to tell me the names of these five countries in the comment segment The Regional Specialized Meteorological Center New Delhi is responsible for naming the cyclonic storms formed over the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea when they reach the relevant intensity. See, what we need to do as a way forward right now is to have proper inventions in the tracking and warning of cyclones. Then only proper evacuation could take place and the trajectory of cyclones or the building up of cyclones could be properly forecasted. If proper tracking is done then loss of lives and livelihood could be mitigated moving on let's talk about indian meteorological department it provides direct services to the farming community set up in the year 1932 the division of agricultural meteorology has its office in pune it was established to minimize the adverse impacts on adverse weather impacts on crops and imd also provides information to take advantage of favorable weather condition that may result in boost in agricultural yield okay now let's move on to know more about indian meteorological department this was established in the year 1875 works under the aegis of ministry of earth sciences and it is the principal body for weather forecasting seismology and other meteorological observation let's move on to our mains question discuss the features and processes of formation of a tropical cyclone how are they different from temperate cyclones so you have to write it in 250 words that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching